Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Marvel's Fantastic Four film was finally confirmed to release on November 8th, 2024, the launch of Phase 6, which means the MCU will have at that point evolved past the Phase 5 Earthbound stories of Captain America New World Order, Daredevil Born Again, and Thunderbolts, and more toward the cosmic landscape of Avengers Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Details about a director in the cast of Fantastic Four are expected to come soon in D23, but for now, Marvel head Kevin Feige confirmed that this Fantastic Four film will not be an origin story. The Hollywood Reporter wrote, quote, Feige compared Marvel's new take on the heroes to its pack with Sony to bring Spider-Man into the MCU, noting this will not be another origin story. A lot of people know this origin story, a lot of people know the basics. How do we take that and bring something that they've never seen before, said Feige, who added that given the Super Team launched in the Marvel Comics universe back in 1961, we've set a very high bar for ourselves with bringing that to the screen. An interesting route for Feige to take because arguably moviegoers knew about Spider-Man Spider-Man's origin from the spider bite to Uncle Ben's death and with great power yada 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 from two immensely popular films, I would not say general audiences hold the 2005 Fantastic Four film or the 2015 reboot as closely to their hearts. In fact, many of us who had to sit through that 2015 film never want to think about it ever again. But from everything we've learned, we can actually use this to narrow down exactly why Marvel Studios is giving them a new origin and what that origin might look like. So just to explain the Fantastic Four's origin from the Marvel comics, Reed Richards was a child prodigy who gained several college degrees by the time he was 18 until he went to State College in New York where he met Victor Von Doom from Latveria. Victor hated Reed right away and says, uh, anyone want to switch dorms with me? And Reed Richards ended up with the roommate of Ben Grimm. Also during his college years, Reed met and fell in love with Sue Storm. During these years, Victor builds a machine that fails because he refused to listen to Reed. Actually, later we learned that Ben Grimm sabotaged this machine. This is what damaged Victor's face and made him hate Reed forever. And then Victor went on a trip abroad and learned from Tibetan monks, had to gain some mystical powers. He forged his metal mask, took over Latveria, became Dr. Doom. Meanwhile, Reed begins to build a revolutionary starship for the military that he co-funds with inheritance from his father. The government cuts the funding though, so Reed rushes to a test flight where he is joined by Ben and Sue and Johnny Storm, hoping to find another solar system, but that ship passes through a cosmic ray storm that gives all four of these powers. So at this point, they decide to band together as the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family, to fight alien threats, and Doctor Doom becomes their primary recurring foe. Now, until now, our leading theories for the MCU Fantastic Four film was that it could be a period film set in the 1960s, a version of Quantumania director Peyton Reed's pitch to Fox years ago, something that Multiverse Madness seemed to reference. Fantastic Four, didn't you guys chart in the 60s? Or, now that we know John Watts is no longer directing this Fantastic Four film, some believe that John Krasinski could be positioned to star in and direct this film. As Reed Richards in Multiverse of Madness, Krasinski had a number of lines that suggested a future for this character, from his definition of incursions ahead of the Secret Wars event. The larger the footprint you leave behind, the greater the risk of an incursion. Incursion? An incursion occurs when the boundary between two universes erodes and they collide, destroying one or both entirely. To Reed alluding to his wife, Sue Storm, and their children, Franklin and Valeria Richards. I have children of my own. I understand your pain. Is their mother still alive? Yes. Good. There will be someone left to raise them. But then the Scarlet Witch dashed our hopes that the 838 Reed Richards himself could lead us into this future. But that doesn't mean John Krasinski couldn't return to play a variant of Reed from another universe. One would think if he was truly a one and done cameo, he and Jimmy Fallon wouldn't have been so pressured to tiptoe around the future Fantastic Four movie in a recent episode of The Tonight Show. Comic Con, they just uh, announced all these new movies and they announced there's gonna be a Fantastic Four movie. Yes. You're not allowed to say anything. Nope. I'm not allowed to really ask you. Right. Uh, but <laughs> you think? They don't tell you anything. They don't tell you anything. No. Nope. Until right before you're about to do it. That's right. Yep. And, and there's also a rumor that uh, your wife, uh, Emily Blunt, will play Sue Storm. Oh. Hey, Jimmy, I'm going to tell you on your show. Oh. It oh, my God. Someone killed him right now. Can we get a medic? Actually, later in this segment, when Fallon jokes with Krasinski about an office fan theory about Jim Halpert being evil, Krasinski says, Well, they're on to me because I played it as a supervillain. <laughs> That's why, I did, that's why I did Fantastic Four, to balance and, and, it out. I'd already done yeah. the villain, so... Uh, 
Let's, let's talk about uh, uh, Super Pets. Uh, no, Jimmy, let's not talk about Super Pets. Let's talk about what he just said. That's why I did Fantastic Four. Yeah, I'm reading too much into it, I know. Krasinski was not saying that's why I did Fantastic Four, the film, necessarily. They haven't even begun shooting the movie yet. He was referring, really, to his past work as Reed Richards' cameo in the Multiverse of Madness movie. But still, Fallon's hesitation suggests that he was cautioned by someone important not to spend too much time speculating about Krasinski's possible future as Reed Richards implying that there probably is still some future at all. Because if there wasn't a future, I don't think they would care that much about joking around about it. So, Feige confirming that the 2024 Fantastic Four film will not be an origin story suggests that we probably won't be seeing the Fantastic Four in the 1960s. Like, I love the idea of a period piece origin story in the style of the first Captain America film, making the Fantastic Four removed from their original time period, but it just does not make sense to go to the 60s if this movie's gonna start with them in the middle of their career in the MCU present day. But if that's the case, then Marvel Studios is gonna have to explain where they have been and why we haven't seen them in the MCU to this point. Like, sure, Marvel could justify Peter Parker and Black Panther's absences by just leaning on the secrecy of those characters, but the Fantastic Four do not live in secret. They are known for being public superheroes with no secret identities and celebrity status. So how does the MCU establish a Fantastic Four celebrity status in this universe without showing their origin at this point forward? Well, when you eliminate all those possibilities, the MCU Fantastic Four must be set in another universe or across several universes as part of an incursion event, or establish that the Fantastic Four have been off dimension in a place like the Negative Zone. The Negative Zone would tie in neatly with the way Ms. Marvel introduced the Bangles, which we think are based on on Captain Marvel's Mega Bands, which transports one into the negative zone. That actually could be where Kamala Khan is now. Actually, in my exclusive interview with Iman Vellani, she said that the mystery of where the Bengal takes Kamala in the Marvels ties in with how Kamala was able to time travel. Did you have questions for how the logic of this time travel fits in with what we saw in Avengers Endgame or in Loki? Yep. First thing I asked, I'm like, doesn't this break all the rules? And they're like, <laughs> oh, we'll figure that out. Um, <laughs> I, I think the Marvels is going to explain it a little more, to be fair. God, I want to tell you things, but this is going to be on YouTube. It's um, okay. It's fine. I understand. It's totally good. I don't want to get you in any trouble. I, I, I do think, you know, you, oh God, no, I can't. I can't. In a year, hey. please call me back. So if the Marvels is set partly in the negative zone and introduces the Fantastic Four there, a great villain for the MCU Fantastic Four film could be Annihilus, who is an insectoid conqueror who comes from the negative zone, seeking to extend his lifespan with the cosmic control rod. In fact, Victor Von Doom could even start as an anti-hero helping them in this fight, the way Loki and Mordo were comics villains who were turned into sympathetic allies at times in the films. But knowing that the Fantastic Four is the start to phase six in the midst of the multiverse saga, steering toward Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, both of those titles coming out in the year that follows Fantastic Four, I think it is inevitable that this film at least touches on Reed's relationship with his future descendant, Nathaniel Richards, AKA Kang. This has to, on some level, be a multiverse story. And that's why I think Krasinski's being so cryptic when he's asked about this. Since Fantastic Four is not an origin story, I think this film has to show us the Council of Reeds, a gathering of Reed Richard variants from across the multiverse. One prominent member of which could be played by John Krasinski, but could also include Yoan Griffith and Miles Teller. So this wouldn't necessarily mean Krasinski is the 616 Reed Richards. They could totally cast a new actor in that role, but Krasinski would still be out there in the multiverse. We might even learn that it was the Council of Reed's mistake of overthinking the threat of their descendants that created the Kang crisis to begin with. Reed's role in the ancestry of Kang could be why Doom becomes so eager to kill Reed and Sue in the MCU to prune Kang out of existence. This could be the genesis of their conflict. Let me know what you think about these theories for the Fantastic Four's new origin in the MCU. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars, subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching, bye.